you follow my channel at all, you are probably more than likely familiar with Centoya Brown because I have talked about her several times. If you are not familiar with Centoya Brown, I'll give you a quick synopsis, really, really quick. Centoya Brown, pictured here with her husband, Jamie Long, she was tried and convicted at the age of 16 in the state of Tennessee for killing a man, okay? Uh, she was recently re released, or I should say granted clemency, when maybe a bit over a year ago, I guess Rihanna saw her story um, and made it go viral, okay? Kim Kardashian also, uh, I guess, helped to push for the release of Centoya Brown. And so she was granted clemency and she was just released, like I said, late August of this year. Now, before Centoya was actually released from jail, she had married this man right here, Jamie Long. Uh, according to her and Jamie, they have been together for what, a couple of years, about three years or so, something like that. He basically wrote her a letter. He burned the edges of the, it's just really weird. It's even hard to explain. Um, they tell their whole little love story, uh, on the breakfast club, but they've also been, like I said, they've been on this press run. So they've told their story over and over and over and over again. Okay. He basically wrote her in jail and fell in love with her in jail and married her over the phone while she was in jail, okay? Now, because there's been a lot of press and, you know, uh, people interested in Centoya Brown, that has brought her a lot of attention. Um, Jamie, pictured here again on the left, that's her husband, he was formerly married to Pam Long of the group Total. And when Centoya was released and everybody found out that he or her and Jamie was married, the neighborhood talk, that's a blog. They reached out to Pam and asked if she had a comment regarding this marriage between Jamie, her former husband and Centoya Brown based on Centoya Brown's situation. Remember she has been in jail since she was a teenager. And so Pam spoke out and said she feel it in her heart to say something and that she wanted to say that this man is not to be trusted. He is a con man. He is an opportunist and she should just be careful. Now, a lot of people did not receive that message from Pam well, and they felt that she was interfering with what Jamie and Centoya had going on. All right. They felt like she was being bitter she was just being a bitter ex-wife. She was jealous of Centoya, all this other stuff, you know. Um, again, a lot of people going off the fact that they only really know this story from the internet and from what social media tells them, not really diving into the, the real details of this case. But again, the point is, Pam Long spoke out and said, be careful. Now, Centoya and Jamie recently went onto the breakfast club, maybe about a couple of weeks ago, and they were asked about what Pam said. And Jamie responded by saying he thinks that Pam is selfish, you know, and that she had no business saying anything that, you know, he loves his wife. He is not trying to uh, come up off of Centoya. He is not doing this for monetary gain. He had money before he met Centoya. He's not here because she has this book deal and all this other stuff. Centoya also went on to speak about Pam and said, you know, that, you know, she doesn't need anybody to basically warn her about her husband. She knows him very well. Again, I'm telling you, they wrote each other. Uh, I guess he visited her and they got married over the phone. Okay. Now, when they did that interview, Pam went on to speak out on her own podcast because Pam, I don't know if you guys know this, Pam is more of the, she's kind of moved away from the secular music and she's more now about the spiritual and religious music and she does a lot of praise and worship type of music right now, okay? So she went out to say that, basically refute what Jamie said about her. It's like she was not coming from that place. Now he's a liar. He is a con artist. He know what he did to her. She also alleges that he abused her while they were married and that he was just not a good person and that she sees right through him. Now, a lot of people take that stance about Jamie Long and why would he marry a woman 
that is in jail. Out of all the women that he could have possibly married, he found a woman that was in jail and got married to her. Now, I can't explain that, and nor will I even try to. Who am I to say if that man is being genuine or not when it comes to Centoya? Okay, who is to say? But when Pam spoke out, I didn't necessarily think that she should say something to the new wife, but if she felt that it was in her heart or God put it in her heart to say something, she did what she felt she should do. Even in even though she knew that it would bring her a lot of backlash and it did. Like I said, there's people out here saying that she's jealous. She's jealous because Santoya looked better than her. I saw some really disgusting comments from black folks who was just upset about the fact that Evelyn was sitting here calling OG a monkey and all this other stuff. But I saw the same type of black people saying, well, Pam is just mad because she looks ugly. She's a dark, ugly monkey. She's a dark girl. And she's just mad because Centoya is cute. I've seen that kind of stuff from our own people, but I'm not going to get off into a tangent on that kind of bull. But I saw it. Nonetheless, uh, just when you think that things have died down, they haven't, okay? Because... Most recently, just when you think, you know, like I said, Centoya has been on this press junket. She's been on this press tour to try to promote her book, a book that I myself wouldn't buy because I don't necessarily think she should profit off of what she did. Although I think it's great that she is getting a second chance at life and love and happiness. I personally don't feel like she should profit off of what she was convicted of because I just shouldn't, but I'm not going, again, I'm not going there. I've, I've done that before. I've been down that road before. If you've seen my videos, you know how I feel. I'm not going to go there again, but if you know my videos, you know how I feel. Now, most recently, uh, it came out that Centoya is now pregnant with, uh, their baby. Okay. So she was released at the end of August and you know, she, she'd been in jail for 15 years. They got it popping. She's pregnant. Okay. But most recently, it came out that Jamie actually has a 11-year-old son with a woman named Stacy Kirkland out of Texas, because that's where he's from. And a judge has actually ruled that Centoya Brown is not permitted to be around Jamie Long's 11-year-old son, because the mother uh, feels that she could be a danger to their son, Okay. Um, according to um, court documents, it says that a Texas judge ruled Centoya is barred from being around Jamie Long's son. The mother of Long's son, Stacy Kirkland, filed a motion to keep Centoya away from her ch- child, claiming that Centoya was a convicted murderer and she fears Long will not take the proper precautions to keep their son safe. So she goes on to say, I am extremely concerned about the safety of our young son and do not believe that his father, Jamie, will take proper measures to protect the boy from danger. They had an agreement in place that each parent would let the other one know if they plan to marry or live with someone. But in the court document, Stacey Kirkland says that she actually learned from somebody else that Jamie had been married to Centoya. Even though Jamie on The Breakfast Club says that he's been with Centoya for a minute, she is just finding this out that he was married to Centoya Brown. And so she went on to file a motion to change their son's custody terms, which included a restraining order to keep Centoya Brown from within 15 feet of her son. All right. So Jamie lives in Tennessee with Centoya because that's where she was granted clemency. That's where she's from. And uh, Jamie Long's son lives in Texas with his mother. All right. And she went on to say, I would love for Jamie to spend more time with our child. But in light of Jamie's recent decision to enter into a romantic committed relationship with a woman convicted of first degree murder, I am extremely fearful. Now, the judge ruled in her favor, mostly because Jamie never responded to the motion. So it was kind of like a default judgment. And now he has been granted supervised visits with his son and cannot have him anywhere around Centoya. He was also ordered not to try not to hide their son or take him out of school or the state of Texas. And he cannot discuss the case of Centoya Brown in front of his son. 
And Long's child support has also been increased to $527 a month. So I, I don't even know what he could have possibly been paying, but now it's been increased to $527 a month. And so now they have another dilemma on their hands. Centoya is having a baby with Jamie, and he also has an 11-year-old son that he clearly is not that involved with. Okay, so... You know, like I said, a lot of people felt like Jamie was doing all of this to kind of attach himself to Centoya and what is about to become of Centoya. Remember, just, now listen, the girl got out of jail, already had a book deal. All right. And you know, she got some money for that book deal. You know, they're going to probably make a made for TV movie or some kind of movie based on her life. So they're about to get paid. Okay, there's just no question about that. And a lot of people, like I said, felt like Jamie was just kind of hanging on or kind of attaching himself to Centoya because of what it would benefit. And that goes along with the narrative that uh, Pam has been talking about. A lot of people, like I said, feel that Pam is bitter and how, why, don't sit out, out here and speak on this man and his new wife. You shouldn't tell the new wife anything, stuff like that. Um, you know, a lot of people said, why are you keeping his last name? Actually, Pam and Jamie both had the same last name when they met. So it's just a coincidence that she is Pam Long and he's Jamie Long. She already had that last name. Okay. But a lot of people feel like this dude is on the come up. Me, myself, I've always maintained that even though he does seem a little like mm, shady, something about him. That doesn't mean that his relationship that he has currently with Centoya is going to mirror his relationship with Pam. Different relationships bring out different things in people. But Centoya really should at least be aware. And I don't know how you can maintain a marriage or relationship and not ever have this person around your child. That just seems a little odd to me. And I find it awfully odd that he would enter into a relationship with Centoya and never ever once tell the mother of his son what he was doing. And she has to find out about this relationship like everybody else did. I just think that's a little shady, which lends itself more to what Pam has been saying. But like I said, didn't nobody want to hear it from Pam. All right. People did not want to hear that from Pam because like I said, a lot of people feel like the new wife, I mean, the old wife should never tell the new wife anything. Don't speak on their relationship. Don't say anything. Don't give out any warnings. I kind of subscribe to that too. I actually don't have a problem with that. I don't necessarily think I would say anything to the new wife. She would have to find out. But I think because Centoya's case is different and she has been in jail since she was a teenager, a lot of people felt compelled to at least warn her of Jamie. All right. But I don't know. I... This is just a weird one for me because I don't, this is strange. I mean, do you understand where the mom is coming from though? Why she might decide she doesn't want Centoya around her son based on what Centoya did do and what she was convicted of, something that she admitted to doing? Or do you think that this mom is just kind of riding the wave of what everybody else is doing, coming out and speaking now? But again, in her defense, she just recently found out about Centoya. He never spoke on it. He never talked about it. So I guess this is going to continue. I'm going to keep talking about it every time I get some information, because like I said, I have been following Centoya since she been released and it's a very compelling story. So I'm going to keep you guys abreast and I'm going to keep talking about it. Like I said, and I will see you guys on the next video.